since I'm kind of a little too tired to do any serious thinking, I've just been adding some little functions to this. Maybe you'd be interested to look at some of them. Uh, I'm compile, but I can just run it. Uh, one here is this thing is quite cool. Um, that's a good radius. It's a. Uh, it's like a, it's supposed to look like a rose. This here it just ro rotates it. I don't really need that. This is a four leaf called the four leaf rose thing. And uh, the equation for that one is in. Uh, I'm con uh, converted the uh, converting it equations that are in parametric form. So that one is, um, let's see now that's, uh, there's in parametric form, that is, just a second. Okay. It's R equals some constant times sine. No, I did this Maybe I have to do that to make it look right. Two phase. No, that's right. R equals A sine 2 theta. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading the book here. Uh, now I, I'm not looking at the microphone. Uh, yeah, that one is uh, sine 2 theta. So that means that um, it goes through four cycles in one cycle, right? Well, it goes through, through two two cycles. If you go from zero to two pi, <coughs> two pi. Oh, but you gotta <coughs> you gotta be careful because it's see the it's um polar coordinates. So when r is negative, right? Um then that that means to go in the opposite direction uh well, does that make sense now uh, looking at the picture uh at uh, when theta is that that's actually uh no no i'm i'm this is the correct thing for the way i'm drawing this so if theta is increasing, increasing, and here 2 theta, this is 45 degrees, so 2 theta is 90, right? So the sine has gone to here, and so we get the maximum, and by the time we get here, the sine would be at this point in terms of theta, so it goes to zero. Now, as you keep going around the circle, sine is now becoming negative, right? So we're here, and uh, so r is decreasing, right? And uh, the angle is uh, like more than 180. Yeah, that's right. It's negative. If the angle were here and R was positive, we would get points this way, right? But R is R sine theta, R two sine theta is negative for these angles, so that should be points on this side. So that should send us going around here again. 
till we get to here and then we're back to zero and R is still negative and the angle is here Oh, but hang on a second. Look at the picture. Oh no no no! No, that's right. He claims that this is through minus a negative a. Now I get in the right picture and I, I work it out using this formula. The way to work it to, to convert that parametric form is quite easy. You, you, all you do is you say x. Whoops. Whoops. X equals uh, R cos theta, right? And um, oh yeah, not the F8. We'll do the other one too. Y equals R sine theta okay so at this point when theta is equal to uh, 180 degrees right pi then uh, as theta continues x becomes negative and y oh no 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 x becomes po positive because um, wait a minute now try that again this is positive this is uh, theta increasing R increasing, both positive, and so you get it here, and, and at this point, Y, see, Y is negative, at this, from, from here, what theta equals pi, wait a minute, from here, it is here. We go this way so that cosine of theta is negative and the sine is positive. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, that would mean that at this point x becomes negative so on this side and y is positive so I, that would be this way I guess that's why I've got to make that thing this is par par parameterized because you can think, think, think of theta as t <clears throat> another one that I have there's um, a cardioid. This cardioid looks like a heart. I'll make it red or something. Uh, now, what's the maximum size? Let's try. Oh. It, it looks like a heart. I added a thing called eccentricity to that. Which is my own invention, and uh, I don't think it's very <laughs> well designed. It's pretty good. It's it's supposed to stretch. Uh, try try to make it stretch out a bit. 
I change the color to green say see it stretches it out a bit makes it longer <clears throat> but I worked it out wrong it should I didn't change the size value and it's, it should have wound up I, I meant for it to wound up in the same spot but I made a mistake and then another one it's not really a mistake it's whatever it's fun cardioid the rose okay well I have this ellipse too so I can uh, this one is uh, going to be this way if you change it let me go more more along the line something like that let's say uh, this color there you go, the ellipse. So I got a bunch of functions. Now the one I want to add is uh, the generalization of the ah, come back here. Generalize this instead of two here. I'll just that'll be a parameter. So you can put in radius and uh, a number for the number of cycles per cycle, sort of. Now, but when it's now when it's apparently when it's even, you get uh, two times two times the number of loops. Like two gives you four loops, and when it's odd, you get the number of loops. So three will give three loops, um, and five will give five loops, but six would give twelve loops, and so on. So now I'm trying to work that one out here. <clears throat> uh, well, we can use this to help. Um, so ge generalizing. Uh, well, there's nothing to do. It's exactly the oh, no, oh it's a a same idea. Oh, no, 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 it's R. <clears throat> right, that's right. I see. That's right. So that's A sine. That's right. That's why it looks like that. Two. Two. Theta. Okay, okay. And I'm, I'm, I didn't even realize I was doing it. Is that going to be enclosed properly? So that's really what the equation is, you see. Because x is r, the, whatever the length of r is, times uh, the cosine of whatever angle we're at, right? And y the same. But r is changing the theta. And so this, this is a complicated equation. So in general, generally speaking, you would have to know how to expand these. But for pro programming, why this is quite easy. All I do is, uh, all one does is, uh, suppose it's, I have this number, cycles per revolution. So what I have is, um, the, the theta, is equal to this n times um, s, right? s is our parameter. Uh, and um, so r
uh, R, which is given by the formula, uh, A times sine of theta Right, and y is radius times cos. Oh, sorry, sine of s. Because oh, no, so cos and then sine. Right. Uh, <clears throat> if S is the parameter, right, like theta, then R is, we compute that first, and then X is R cos parameter, and Y is R sine parameter, and that's what I've got. So it's quite easy. The four leaf one is the same thing, see? Uh, and that's not it. Oh yeah, this is the four leaf. Oh, I use degrees, okay. For the, uh, but the, the, it's the same thing. Uh, I don't have a phase in this current one. It was it two times theta, or two times s, and then r put Give my that formula, and then that's what I have. You call it dr like the other. Same idea. Range goes from 0 to 2 pi for all of these uh, polar coordinate things. And uh, I should actually have a general polar polar thing to derived from let's type this over and over again. Uh, serialized double radius serialized double or int. This doesn't work at the moment. I fix it. Okay. Uh, but it, that that's correct when I do get the rest of it working. Now what else do I need? Ra I did the range. No empty constructor. Constructors. Any constructor. So we need a double parabola to be ints. It's always ints anyway. D R and uh, int and sign really. Num for num. Trying. Uh, make such long names for these variables, especially when you're doing math type things. Well, these equations can get long and you can't, you can barely fit it on one page. Okay, now is that it? I got everything. Range, serialize, pause, and the other friend. End leaved clover. I call it all of these original. The or original means 
it's centered on the origin, not not a not a different meaning for original. Uh, again, I have one that takes a double. Uh, the DR, whatever, and an int. I hate that. I, the, the end and the minus key are right beside each other, and I always hit the minus key. I want a new original and leave over. With the uh, radius and um, n. Right? And that's it. So that should compile. <clears throat> Usually, I, what I've done is I've already converted that list to uh, <coughs> to not using uh, pointers anymore, so it's easy for me to test these things. Okay, okay. I really shouldn't open this one while it's uh, building it. Data initialized but not referenced. I didn't figure out radius. This radius times sine of or times d theta. Okay, that's, that's what I want. The, the radius is a function of theta. I'm kind of curious. Well, if, if I choose two, I should get the same as the other one. All right. Great. Uh, data is this. Uh, the number we chose times the parameter and radius is the constant radius times sine of that thing. Okay, that's the function. I, I could hit pause, I'll do that. Okay, I compiled my typos out. So now I just have to make one just for an initial test. An in leaf clover. I in leaf clover. Uh, radius, uh, let's say, 100. And uh, well, I'll do two first. So that should give us what we had before. The clover is in green. And then, once I've done that, I can add it to the list, which really takes about as much time as this took. And there's a whole bunch of nifty little functions that I've 
especially um, uh, polar coordinates, ones which are easy to convert to parametric form. Uh, so it might be cool to try playing around with. Okay, well that's correct. That's, that's in th thin green. Oh, light green. I don't like light green. Dark green. I'll put this up too. So it seems like for radius, <coughs> good values are probably between a hundred and two or three hundred. So it can give me a hint. Which, one, which ones have two? This has two. Okay, so now if you see for n equals two, we got the same result. Now if we go to three, we should get three loops yeah, according to the theory. Because it, uh, because of the way the pluses and minuses all work out, it retraces its its uh, path as it goes around, and so you don't don't make it half as many as you could get. That's the theory. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Oh yeah, theory. Oh yeah, that's that's a nice one, eh? Beautiful. So four will give us should give us a eight eight loops. We should probably reduce that. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. It's almost supper time and I'm gonna go to bed. And tomorrow I'll pick you up from here and, and finish off some of the other things, little things I can do. Well, that's cool. So now uh, two, one, would, what's one? Is a circle or something? What is one? That's R, yeah, it's a circle. R, no, it's not a circle. Because it's the R is changing, so it can't be a circle. Uh, and it's odd. It's going to have one loop, but it's not going to be a circle. What it's going to be is a like a, a what is it going to be? It's it's well, this was have one loop. R sine theta. R is smaller. Theta, but theta is not going to repeat. No. Well, let's see. <laughs> I can't, can't figure it out. Yeah, just thinking. Oh, I see. It is one loop, all right. It's exactly a circle, but it's sitting above the. Uh, so that's another way you could draw a circle. Um, you know, uh, using this funny formula that is not centered on the origin. It sits on the origin. Now, there's a fun thing for you to try to figure out. What, why did that come out to be a circle exactly? And we saw two and three and so on. Now, in order to turn this into a, one of these things, or uh, make make it possible for me to uh, okay let's check out already to have a property sheet thing okay 
and that is important. This is a <clears throat> end leaf. End leaf. And clover. That was the dialogue. Okay. Um, what do we have? Uh, the radius and the radius. Yes. Just to do it this way. My spelling mistakes don't matter. And <clears throat> uh, leave uh, num num for num. I still have to think of I still have to think of a description for this. Uh, um, cycles per cycles per cycle. Something like that. <clears throat> so anyway, it's a way for me to enter that in. Okay, so that's it for the resource card. I have one. And I go here to the props. It's going to be similar to these other ones. So, copy. Something like. Oops. Is it leaf or leave? Not sure. We'll put it like that. Is the convention then the next line is always the same that I, I put I made it to in such a way to force you to write a create. I don't know why I did that. I thought it might emphasize the fact that you're supposed to call that function. <laughs> right? uh, I have a spin uh, radius and spin numbers per number whatever that means it's actually a lot faster when I can double click this part is always the same this line sets up a unique registry key for each of these little mini dialogues so I, could, I can reuse the name you know, for radius. I can use radius if I want Maybe for the text, registry text. Uh, spin radius is called this. I love these little control things because. I don't have to, once it's in the control, I don't have to remember this 
number defined. And it's hard to come up with different names for things, so you do things like this. What's this one? And then I did it again, see? I hit the end button and got a minus sign. Okay, now this part is always the same. Uh, this is going to be the name, name of the class. Okay, I made one. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, uh, and we need this here. It really doesn't take that long. See, instead of putting the name in the text, using the type name thing and a, the name of the uh, type, the name of the class, then then a, a spelling mistake is a syntax error, right? So it's better to do it that way. Funk is that spin radius. And the other one's actually an integer. Sounds good. And lastly, a dialog proc. All about approximately the same function. Different names in the, for the controls. Now, let's say the radius should be at, at least 100. Well, let's say 70 to uh, 300. And uh, defaulting to 150. And the X, uh, not X increasing, the number. The multiplier well, this thing is a small number zero to ten. You, know, you want to make well whatever twenty. You want to go crazy. Uh and then that's called the uh, NPN value. Defaulting to Two. Oh, not zero. Sorry, one. Yeah. Well, you no, know, I'll leave zero. Then zero, right? Is uh, this would just give you a point. If it was cosine, then it would give you a circle. Right. This has to be one. We use sine. And then uh, all that I do is invert that. Radius, radius, go as fast as I can. NPN. No, I should pull out. The last step is to add it to the list. That's very easy. Oops, uh, anything in this file? Yeah, I think so. No, no, no that's all in this. Yeah. So, this is going to be the name of the dialogue. And 
Now this is stupid, I've repeated this. This same condition for everything, it can go outside and I, and I don't have See what I'm saying? I think that I could automate something with a keyboard and that no, it does it. Otherwise, um, return. This should be an assumption. This is not an assertion, this is not really an error. This is It's no. If the index chosen is well, I don't know. If it's not no, then I should have something underneath there. That should be fine. Oh, and by the way, I don't need that extra on move. The, the problem was uh, the reason it disappeared was because I still had that on move that would make it fly off to infinity. So I only need the one set window pause, and it's, that's fine forever. Because I was I was thinking, uh, did I when I did that experiment did was the on move still <laughs> active? Because I in my mind I thought I'd turned it off, right, and then it disappeared. But I only turned off the first one, which was why it showed up. But all the subsequent ones from the loop. From the uh, move uh, command callback, we just send it off to infinity. Okay. So here's our n leaved clover radius 150. Okay, well, let's just see if this worked properly. This should be, and it is. Uh, fine. Yes, it's making bigger. Okay, it's working. See, you see how easy it is to add more and more of these functions. Uh, Well, that was a hard thing. I thought I had chosen a list. I hadn't. There. See, yeah, they're all doing their thing. And uh, I can also do a billion things. I'm going to get rid of that dialogue. So there you go. Uh, that's all I'm doing. i got to go eat now. Sleep. See ya.